Good morning, Peter Gertz. I'm a psychiatrist. Being open-minded or trying to be open-minded has always been fun for me. And in my opinion, it serves our patients in psychiatry well. And in my opinion, the essence of science is to be open-minded. So we want to be in psychiatry, non-judgmental, open-minded, and that serves our patients well and serves us well also, makes the job, makes the work enjoyable. Now, being non-judgmental, of course, may be challenging for you if you're sitting across from a patient who was in the past a child abuser or in the past worked as a pimp or used to be a hitman. Those situations may be challenging for you, but as much as possible, in my opinion, it is worth being non-judgmental. Now, being open-minded and that being the essence of science, then we can, with logic and research, work on proving or disproving a given hypothesis. Now, logic, as Kurt Gödel showed, has its limitations. But that's our current method to do research is with logic and we do the best we can. Now, if we are not open-minded, if we're not non-judgmental, we can run into some major problems. For example, what happened with Dr. Ignaz Semmelweis. He was a physician in Vienna. He was from Hungary. And he noticed that when medical students, after their anatomy class, went up to the wards and did examinations on women who had given childbirth, those women did very poorly compared to the women who were treated by midwives. So he realized there was some infection being transmitted via the medical students to the women and causing childbed fever. And he suggested hand washing with a chlorinated lime solution now, that did not go over well with the medical establishment at the time at all. And he had a lot of trouble, a lot of disagreements. He was not, accept he was not accepted by the medical establishment and he suffered from that. And of course, unfortunately, Patients suffered in a major way and died. So that's the other side of the coin. If we're not open-minded, if we are not non-judgmental, then people can really suffer, including our patients. So we want to be as open-minded as possible to pretty much any concept. And if a concept is not understood, that is not the same as it not being true. So if something's not understood, that does not mean necessarily that it's not true. And when I say not understood, that means not understood by our current scientific understanding of the world. So as much as possible, we want to be open-minded, period. So that includes being open-minded regarding so-called paranormal experiences, regarding homeopathy, Regarding water memory, that's a very interesting concept. Some researchers have reported finding that water has memory. So if water is exposed to a substance and then the substance is removed from the water, the water still has memory of that substance. Fascinating concept. And again, we want to be open-minded and look at that concept and with logic and research we can work on proving or disproving that concept we want to be open-minded to the concept of aliens life after death 
pretty much any concept. And that, in my opinion, makes life more interesting and enjoyable. Thank you.